Hi everyone and welcome back to a writing guide. In this video, I will be talking about the greatest fountain pen in 2021 for myself. And that is a bold statement to make. For the past four years of diving into this hobby, I've been holding a firm belief that there is no greatest instrument and it all comes down to the users and what they do with them. However, it's the end of the year and I think we would all like to sit back and reflect for a bit on the things we enjoy. To me, there is a single pen, the one that turned off my urge to find a more perfect writer. And it is quite obvious to you guys, we all know that I'm speaking of my beloved Yardolette Viceroy Grand in the Barley Finish. In 2021, I made only two purchases on pens and felt incredibly thankful that this Viceroy Grand was actually the one to give me the sense of closure that I could never find in any Mont Blanc or Pelican or any Italian fountain pen. The brand names and the quality of the others are there, but to have something that was made with care really touched me. I know a lot of it was machine finished, yet the idea of knowing someone stamped the clip and hammered the number on top of it is still charmingly attractive in a way. The Viceroy is an expensive pen, no doubt as the retail price of 1200 pounds can net you a good two or three fountain pens that can perform similarly or if not even better than itself but by the end of the day it is something that i was looking for for quite some time and it finally came across me in superb condition inside the viceroy there's not a whole lot to rave about a german made 18 karat gold nib plated with nickel to match the silvery aesthetics of the pen ground simply to a normal medium tip a metal section that gets scratches easily and an international converter inside yes not even a piston filler admittedly paying that much for a fountain pen you would like to have all the cool gimmicks and perks of writing instruments technology built in in order to acquire that title of the coolest pen in the meeting but really does it matter there will always be the urge to acquire more as us humans have the tendency to follow the quest of searching for the next best thing yet to be able to acquire an object that stops you from wanting for more is a blessing in and of itself all writing instruments exist with the sole purpose of putting ink on the page yet there are so many brands out there trying to capture us with colorful materials special editions and limited releases that inevitably we fell into the hype. A simple metal pen that does not scream, look at me, pay attention to me, I am special, and still packs a lot of value within is something we all could want, is it not? The end of the year is usually the time when we take a step back and appreciate the big things that happened to us especially in a big year like 2021. I wish you all a wonderful holiday season with your loved ones, good health, and prosperous ventures in the following year to come. Thank you for another year, and I look forward to seeing you over at A Writing Guy on Instagram or on awritingguy.com. Feel free to click the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you as well. Which is your greatest fountain pen of 2021? What was your most favorite or least favorite purchases? Please let me know down below. If you are like me and do not have another 1200 quid to spend on another one of these Jardelette fountain pens, perhaps this video right here in the right corner might give you some ideas. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.